This is a district line train to Barking. The next station is Temple. So we are in London and we're very close to the Tower Bridge and yes. the White Tower and we decided to get something to eat. Where did we eat? The Minoris. Minoris! Right underneath the rail line. Yep. So every time you hear a train go by, it rumbles inside the uh, restaurant. But good food. Very good food. Good food though. Yeah, I yes. had the fish and chips. You had the, uh, really good. We had the bourbon burger. burger. Yeah. Both of you guys had that. It was really good. Yeah. This is right underneath the railroad, the, uh, the rail line. So you can hear uh, trains going over every five minutes or so. But a lot of fun and good food. Makes me wonder what the history is of this building. Probably, you know, World War II, pre-World War II. So we're looking at London's Roman wall dating back to AD 200 that was built around London, which at the time was called Londinium. And there's the wall. And the red tiles that you see in the base of the wall and higher up are from the Roman period. So this is all original from Roman days. Amazing. What you got behind you? What have we got behind you? The Tower Bridge and, and the Traitor's Gate. Oh, we're heading to the Bloody Tower. The Bloody Tower. Walk through here and you'll see the White Tower. The Tower of London. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to His Majesty's Royal Palace and Fortress of the Tower of London. My name is Mark. I'm a sergeant here, one of the young warders. So interesting to me that new and the historic. First the historic and then the new. The shard in the background. About to set foot into the white tower. The white tower. Narrow stairways and arched walkways are amazing and all original so strange to think you're walking in a place that's been here for over a thousand years
So the last person executed in the Tower of London was a German spy by the name of Josef Jacobs. This is the chair that he was sitting in. And he was a German spy who parachuted into uh, England back in 1941. Obviously, defense of the castle was very important. Look at the size of some of these musket balls, these cannonballs. Amazing. And there's even larger ones over here. Unbelievable. Unreal, the size of these cannonballs. And we have arrived at London's Tower Bridge. Where are we at, huh? We are on the Tower Bridge. Over the Thames. Over the Thames. What you gonna do, huh? What you going to do? We're going to go up there. Explore the Tower Bridge. Yes. Wow. North Tower. Here we go. So we are now up in Tower Bridge in the North Tower. Yes. What a beautiful view it is too. And the glass floor is coming up right here. All right, Steph, you're going to lay on your back. You want oh, me to go okay. with you? You want to lay on my back? Oh, okay. You can do it. Okay. You can do it. Woohoo! This is what you came here for. Okay, are we ready? For go this? for it. <laughs> <laughs> she just jumps right in there. Yeah, she does. She's okay. <laughs> 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 so here we are on top of Tower Bridge, the very top. There's the White Tower down below, which we just toured a little while ago. Uh, the downtown area. And then off in the distance, St. Paul's Cathedral. And down below, the Thames. That was an amazing tour, to stand over that glass and just look straight down. It's kind of wild and crazy, but it was fun. So now we're taking a tour of the engine room, servicing the tower bridge. And as you can see, there's some major mechanics back in there. And that's very pretty. Yeah, it's actually, yeah, it's beautiful actually. Oh look, Hannah, huh? a bus. Oh. I think you might have a story a about a bus. bus. Yes. What, what's your story about a bus? In 1952, on December 30th, a double-decker bus was crossing the bridge. Well, the middle of the bridge raises up to let taller ships through. Well, the person who was supposed to block cars from going over didn't do his job. And the double-decker bus found himself with the bridge raising, and he had a decision to make back up or punch it and jump the bridge. 
So he decided to punch it and jump the bridge and made it and saved himself and 90 passengers and was commemorated for it. Amazing story. <laughs> right here's the middle. Right. This is where it raises. It's where it splits and raises. So right there is where he would have jumped the bus. Crazy. Jump the bus. He did not mind the gap. No, he did not mind the gap for he sure. Not. He did not. That's what you call speed on steroids, right? Oh, 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 I get it. <laughs>